Rooster. We are looking at the Dragon Year 2024, uh, and this is the prediction set for the Rooster sign. Okay. So, uh, astrologically speaking, the Rooster Year, the Dragon Year for the Rooster sign is the most is the soulmate sign. So the dragon is the soulmate sign for the rooster. So it's what the Chinese believe is that it's the most romantic year for the rooster signs. But I don't know what's happened recently because um, the, the, there's a little bit of suspicion here. Uh, you'll see that this is, a, this is a prominent card for the dragon year. So if it is a romantic year, there's a bit of like, I don't know if you can see this, I can't see the screen properly, so let's see whether you're able to see this card, but it's, it's a guy holding a stick with a wall behind him and a little bit of a paranoid look on his face. It's nine of Wands. If you, if you can't see it on the here, you, you can have a look. The Nine of Wands card. So, I mean, it's about standing up for your rights, standing up for what you believe, standing up for your ideals. Um, a wall has gone up, so those people that's, that may have had access to you before have might not necessarily. Um, and overthinking and paranoid thinking. You know, so um, that's not going to persist throughout the entirety of the year. But what what I think is important is that you... Look for ways to allow your emotions to be served, so your needs get served. <coughs> but at times, maybe you do need to be a bit tougher. I, I don't know what's happened. Maybe it was this rabbit year, because the rabbit year was your opposite year for the rooster. They've come out a bit damaged a little bit, it seems, because they're choosing to use their head and not their emotions, which is strange because the dragon year is, is one of those years where the rooster's emotions do get served. So have a think about that. And um, if you can strike a healthy balance, that would be good. In the recent past, like I say, look, you can see this card here of like feeling outcast, feeling like you're not a part of things. Um, that could be because the rabbit is your opposite sign. Rabbit year was just, you know, 2023 was rabbit and it was the opposite year for the rooster. So they, it's, what that means is this is the most difficult year. It's where things don't go according to your way. Your, um, your skills aren't credited in quite the way they usually are. But well, the dragon does understand your skill set and does understand what you bring to the table. And so things will be different in, in, the, in the dragon year 2024. I think as we begin to head into this year, that will, be, that will begin to fall into place for you. Um, but you're in the early stages of that. So you might make some plans, but the plans might be with a bit, might be a bit cautionary, like a bit like, oh, hold on a second. I've got to wait. I've got to make sure that this is um, the right thing for me to do. But we've got influence working in your favor, the two of, two of, two of ones. If it's working against you, the three of wands. Both of them are waiting cards. So there's a bit of suspicion and, and like a resistance to what could be on the way. We're out of the rabbit year. We're into the dragon year. And things are going to be different. When you realize that, you allow, you let go. You allow things to fall away that no longer serve you. And you open up to those things that do. And when you do, that's when you return to yourself. This is the king of earth. Roos is an earth sign. King of pentacles. Um, and you, you realize that your power is back. Your power of um, persuasive, your persuasiveness, your funniness, your joyfulness is all back. So you are able to let go of those things that no longer serve you and feel like yourself again. Um, as we head into the second half of the year, things improve. You are able to have fun, you enjoy yourself. And also, as we head towards the end of the year, a new job, more money, new job could be on the way. So this is really positive. Um, in the second half of the year, you'll also find that there's more uh, options for you um, that weren't available to you last year, rabbit year. And that's when the um, uh, paranoia dissipates and you become a king of king of uh, swords, a military king, who is powerful, who does realize that what he does has repercussions, and you're able to use that for your own benefit. So this is a good transitionary year because you realize you come from a place of disempowerment to a place of Super power, super powerment. <laughs> Don't be such a word. Super empowerment. Uh, so it's really, it's really positive. Okay, this year is going to be very different to the rabbit year. All right, let's have a look at your um, twelve month spread. We'll go month by month, and we'll see what's happening for you. You should feel optimistic about this year because it is a really good year for rooster signs. Okay, let's have a look. Um, <clears throat> so I think it's going to be a slow uh, entrance into the Dragon Year for you because we've got this card of, of although there's busyness, 
There's lots of things happening. You haven't realized that the energy has shifted yet to the dragon yet. <clears throat> and it takes you a while because as the opportunities come, so this is February, as, as the opportunities come, um, in March, you just take them on board. You just, you feel like you have to do it. And then you might get a bit like, oh, why did I say yes to this? Um, I've already got enough on my plate and now I've just said yes to these other things. But what happens is once you deal with them and they, they, they're over and done with and they fall away, you might find that what you're left with is just good stuff. That's why we've got the star card and when we hit uh, April time. Um, so this is a really, really positive card. This means things are shifting on the internal landscape, but they're not showing yet externally. But they do. They will eventually. And when they do, you, you just feel this momentum is behind you and it just sort of flows. Um, and when that happens, it's just synchronicity after synchronicity, opportunity after opportunity. And that will, you will have a period of that this year. Um, as we hit May, we've got this, this card of um, returning to the scene of the crime getting away with something it can also this this car could also mean dealing with somebody who has a, an addictive personality so um this is probably a sign that you need to make sure that the people around you are positive and are high vibration if they're those people that are a bit more difficult then then um think about how you can distance yourself from them you only deserve good people in your life that are going to serve you and uplift you unfortunately sometimes if these people are in your family sometimes you can distance yourself but sometimes you can't and you have to figure out positive ways in dealing with them um, and there are tools to do that. You're very resourceful. I'm sure you'll find those tools, all right? As we head into uh, June, we've got this card of the Nine of Swords. So this is about overthinking, worrying, um, concern that you're not able to um, have a direct impact on certain circumstances. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. But, you know, there's that whole notion of like, uh, a circle of uh, control, which we can have direct control, circle of influence, which is like secondary control, having impact, having influence on somebody else who can take direct action. And then outside of that, there's a circle of no control. There's no point in worrying about things you can't control, right? And this card, what sometimes suggests is that you're trying to, you wish you had control over things that you don't have control over. There's no point in worrying about it. Let it go, all right? Because then you, you just focus on what you can. As we move into uh, July, we've got the card of the Queen of Cups, who's the nurturing mother. She looks after the emotional needs of other people. Sometimes other people first, you know, sometimes other people more than herself. But she needs to look after herself as well. So if this is, if you're in this mode, take care of yourself, nurture yourself like, like a mother would nurture you. Um, if there are other people that rely on you, they may come to you at this time. August, we've got the card of apprenticeship, of, of learning, of development, getting advice from people who are more experienced than you. Uh, and let, allowing them to guide you and point, in the right, point you in the right direction. That's August, September. We've got the Page of Cups. So a new emotional beginning. This card comes um, to symbolize a period of time. You know, like when, you, when you're an adolescent teenager and you're, you're falling in love for the first time, that level of excitement, that level of newness and, and um, that sort of feeling, you know, that's what this card uh, epitomizes. So this is September time in 2024. You could have an experience like that. Then from there to this here now, um, this is uh, October, King of Cups. He's the peak evolution of the um, emotional development. So emotional intelligence, this is the peak of that. Um, so you may find that in October, people may come to you for advice, or it could be that you yourself realize that you have this. You've de made a, your development of your emotional uh, capabilities have come to such a good point that you're able to see things that most other people can't. Um, so it could mean maybe giving advice to other people or maybe if you need advice because there's been, a, 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 you know, maybe if you're going for a difficult time yourself, this card can sometimes come to say, right, go and see your therapist, go and see somebody or somebody you trust, like a psycho, psycho person, psychotherapist or psychologist or just somebody who you trust, um, a friend who's in your life, a father maybe, even a mother. Sometimes the, even though he's a king of cups, it doesn't necessarily mean male, it can mean male energy. Um, yeah, so that was... September, October, November, we've got the Ace of Cups. So this is a new emotional beginning. It's a bit similar to this card, a bit similar to this card. Why? Because these cards only have a single cup on there, single cup on there, and here we are with another single cup. So, um, and also with the Queen of Cups that came just before, it does sort of show that there's a focus more on the emotional from the middle of the year into the, into the latter part of the year. Um, your focus is going to be more your emotions, but it takes you a while to get into it. Yeah, so Ace of Cups, a new emotional beginning, a new emotional start. Oftentimes a new relationship begins, possibly at this phase here. Um, so uh, September time, autumn time into the winter time, you can meet somebody new. Or if, it is, if you're already attached with somebody, it could, be mean, it could mean another level of that. Uh, uh, your relationship goes to another 
another level of development. It's very positive. Then when we get to December, we've got the card of um, the Five of Cups, which is a sense of loss, grief, uh, things not turning out the way you would have wanted. But this card also means there's no point in crying over spilt milk. You know, what's happened has happened. We just need to move on from here. And also, some things may have gone wrong, but since some things are right as well, you know, three cups have fallen, two cups still standing. Turn around and look at the things that are working, and then the universe, the law of attraction, will begin, begin to give you more of that. It's a good time to do gratitude stuff when this card comes up. December. Uh, January, we've got the card of the Five of Wands. Now, this is a friendly, friendly, uh, playful battle. Playful at the start, but if left to carry on, it can turn a bit more serious. Uh, this is when people are sort of smiling and saying, yes, that's absolutely fine, it's not a problem, when really it could be a problem. So you need to be aware of people's motivations, their intentions, and um, also your impact on them, because they might say everything's okay when it's really not. So be conscious of that. As we head into the snake year, which is also a good year for you, we've got the card of one card of contentment and the card of looking after your own needs first and everybody else is second. All right, you may need to look, tend to your property, your land, your assets, uh, and to yourself, your body, your health, everything. So, um, and you might need to be quite firm and put some boundaries in place so that other people don't impose upon your nature. That's towards the end of the year as we head into the snake year. Just thought I'd, I'd throw that in there as well. Um, but generally speaking, it looks like a pretty good year. Um, more emotionally focused for you. And there's two peak points, autumn time, if you're, for those people who are unattached, you can meet somebody. Um, so that's really positive. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, uh, you can leave a comment for me and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, so just a reminder, you can find me at www.zachariahadeal.com. Uh, you can also... Go to my website and go to the readings page if you, if you want to book a reading with me. The, uh, all the information is there. My telephone number is there. My WhatsApp number. My uh, email is also there. ZachariahAdil at gmail.com. You can email me there. You can also buy a copy of my first book, which came out in 2016, Secrets of the Combined Astrology, which has all of the 144 charts in it. Or you can just buy your own individual chart. If you just go to Amazon, put in your chart. Uh, let's say you're an Ox Aquarius. Uh, you put in your chart, Ox Aquarius, and put in Zachariah Adil, and it will come up. And you can just buy it from there directly, or you can buy these books from my website. Um, and I'm going to make them available on TikTok sometime soon as well, so you can get it from there too, eventually. But anyway, for now, um, I will bid you adieu. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.